here in the classroom right now, there's very exciting things going on. And I don't want to spoil, yes, we got a class going. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I am going to give the announcement right now. If you're a little queasy about things, you may have to fast forward through this video because, let's see if you can see, we are dissecting parts today. So, yeah, really gross. And I'm probably not going to make this happen. Mr. Conscious may have to do we're making it. Some, but, we're making some caldo later. Oh, no. So we're excited. We're in an anatomy and physiology class. We're here with um, the students. They're working on figuring out the areas of heart and respiratory and all of that kind of good stuff. So here we go. We're going to start our updates here in our science class. This week on Monday, March 14th, we have an even day. It's also the freshman honor roll tutorial assembly. Tuesday, March 15th is an odd day, sophomore honor roll tutorial assembly. Wednesday, March 16th is an even day. It's the junior honor roll tutorial assembly. And Thursday, March 17th is an odd day, and it's the senior honor roll assembly during tutorial. Friday, March 4th, sorry, Friday, March 18th is an even day, and juniors will be taking the ASVAB that day. We only, we only have a few more Saturday schools left before we start clearing for prom. So this Saturday, we do have Saturday school from 8 to 12. Get that done, guys. But there's no excuses of, of not getting it done. So please, please get that done. Don't put yourself in that situation of not getting it done. All right, March Madness. Uh, this is our second annual March Madness NCAA basketball tournament at BUHS. Mr. Wise will be sending out information on how to participate. Students and staff can participate individually or as a class as well. So see Mr. Wise if you have any questions and I'm good luck this year on your favorite university win. Yeah, I hope Vanderbilt's in there. That's who I'm gonna be rooting for. So we'll see how far SDSU. they go. SDSU. <laughs> Seniors, the Balfour representative will be on campus from 11 to 1.30 in the BUHS library to take orders for graduation products. This is the last day that students will be able to order those, those products. I mean, also seniors, if you plan to attend IVC next year, you need to take the AccuPlacer, um, and BUHS will be offering the exam here um, on April 5th and 6th, and there is an informational flyer in the Counseling Center. Go see the Counseling Center. Okay, the English Learner Advisory Committee, which is the ELAC meeting, will be Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the BUHS Library. All right, the junior class on this Friday is having a movie night, March 18th in the old gym for all students. You do have to be a BUHS student to attend. We won't allow any guests in, and you have to have your school ID. You have to show it at the door. Doors will open at 6 p.m., and students have to be in before 7.30. So we're gonna sh close the doors at 7.30. No food or drinks are allowed to be brought in, but the class will be selling uh, drinks or snacks and stuff there. Um, the two movies are Ant-Man and Insidious 2. And here's your warning, Insidious 2 is a scary film. I don't think I can watch it, but if you like scary films, you can go. But it is scary, so just be careful. <laughs> All right, in a few weeks, the counselors are coming into the classrooms with information for registering for next year's classes. So, so make sure that you have that in mind already. Awesome news, oh, we're finished, I'm sorry, we just finished winter sports and we finished very strong. Wrestling, we took sixth place as a team at the Masters Tournament and Victor Gonzalez and Joseph Mayer went to the state tournament. They had a strong showing at the state level and represented the Broadway Wildcat family very well. So once again, on those boys and the entire team, congratulations. Our, our boys basketball team took us to the CIF finals as well. That was an awesome showing. I was there personally, um, and I'm, personally, I'm very proud of the boys. Uh, they played very well and put a lot of work into the season. So once again, good job. Girls basketball and girls soccer, um, and also boys soccer went very far in the playoffs as well. So. Uh, so the BOHS family is very proud of all, of all the teams. So once again, good job guys and girls. Congratulations. Well, that's it for this week. We hope you have a great week.
that aside. Okay, so we're gonna cut this way. Yeah, we're gonna cut this way, and then you know, that's how you cut this way. Deep over here. And you have to play, and the muscle's really tough. So you're gonna have to cut a little bit more than usual because the heart. It's you know, gonna squirt blood. No, it will not. I'm dying right now. Okay, here we go. It's just sterile. Okay, hey, you get to keep it away from me. So we okay. start? Uh, Alright, so let's do one at a time. You're gonna hold it right here with one hand. And the other hand, you're gonna pull it from the end. Okay, there we go. You, you're putting it in the heart. Oh, I don't know about this. You should have went to the medical field or something. Oh, guys. shallow so right here we got the right atrium and then on the bottom is the right ventricle you can actually see oh, it opens up right here wow. and right here we got the left ventricle and then up here it's gonna lead to the right atrium and it's weird because even though this is the left side it's called the right ventricle just because by perspective by the sheep's perspective this is his right this is his oh okay so to the to yep. the person or to the animal the right mm -hmm. And in the heart, what we were doing uh, for, is that we would try to figure out where the arteries go, that way we could lead the channel. So right here, we would actually figure out where it goes. Over right here, you can see it leads out to, to the, uh, the valve. A finger stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Chinese finger trap. Oh my god! So where did this one go? So that one should lead into the right. Into there. Mm -hmm. I see. So they kind of cross. And they do cross all the sides of the body. Cut down the center oh, we're good. where the pulmonary artery is, and then we would just cut the right side to determine uh, how far it goes. And then once we figure oh. out, we would put our finger into the aortic valve and cut down the side there. Once we're done with the right side, we would do the same thing with the left. And then we would cut down the middle, and then we would just record ourselves uh, naming each part, see how much we can remember, quizzing okay. each other on it, and then we would just clean up after that. Now I see why it's called one of the strongest muscles. Oh yeah. It was tough. Yeah, that was hard to do. Yeah. Cool. Well, you guys keep up the good work because when Mr. Sanchez is old next year and I get older in about 20 years, we're going to need you guys to take care of us in the health industry, yeah. okay? I don't know about that. <laughs> take care of our hearts. We try our very best. Thank you guys. Okay. Yeah, good luck.